Here he comes, our hero from the Shippers Warehouse. We're about to take her out for her first sale. Very exciting. Was it fun? Yeah. Our first sale? Yeah. Yes. Lizzie, do you prefer the boons or the baguettes? The, I didn't forget the boons. The boons? I forget the boons too. It's a kino. A kino? Yeah. What's a kino? A kino is a kind of animal that that jumps up and gets a thing. It has a very big tail. Half three more shapes. Can you turn it around the other way so the camera can see it? How many shapes? Um, it has a lot of shapes. What's it called? A windy day. This is my favorite. Windy day. Sunny day. Did you get a new toothbrush? Yes. Let's see them. Captain America. <gasps> Wait, why do you like him? Because he has the shield. Oh, I'm glad you're so excited about brushing your teeth. Whoa, that's bright. Cheese! Anything you want to say? Yeah. I want to say cheese. <laughs> cheese! Do you have anything else you want to say? Yeah. What? I want to say, I want to say cheese. Anything else? Anything different than cheese?
here he comes. Our hero with all of our stuff that he just got from the shipper's warehouse. Miami right now. We had to fly back to get our stuff from a shipping agency. I asked them for a bill of lading and we asked them multiple times for updates about where our stuff is and they kept saying they didn't know where it was, that it had left Portland maybe by rail. <laughs> they weren't even sure how it was getting from Portland to Miami. Um, so we started digging around and we figured out uh, where our stuff was just by entering our booking number into the website of the shipper that we managed to finally get um, the name of the company that was actually shipping our goods, not the agent that we hired. And so we were able to look up the information in their system and found out that our stuff was already in Miami and had been for weeks. Um, at that point, we started to believe that our shipping agent wasn't being honest with us and we started to do the research we should have done before we hired them but didn't have time with selling our house selling all of our stuff trying to get moved um, we kind of rushed it I rushed it and hired this company that quoted us a, a very reasonable rate but when we started looking at reviews of the company um, we found out that they had not treated their customers very fairly had not provided um, accurate updates uh, and had imported goods to other other people's belongings into the countries like Egypt and there was one in, in somewhere in Europe in ways that cost them thousands and thousands of dollars and then charge them storage fees on top of that. Oops, camera just went flying. We had to revoke the power of attorney, which basically means that this shipping company, which I'm not gonna name because I just don't feel like this is the proper venue for that. I will be leaving them reviews and I may or may not mention their name in a blog post later when I detail how to avoid this kind of situation for, for other people, expats or others trying to ship their personal belongings out of the country. Um, where was I going with that? Anyway, I, so we had to revoke their power of attorney. Which um, I think was basically ignored. Yeah, no one, right. No one had took it. And, 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 and they were, when we kind of confronted them about it and said, hey, it looks like our stuff's in Miami, and they got very defensive and very aggressive and hostile and wanted to know how we found that information out, accused me of impersonating someone from their company to get the information, which I did not do. Um, we actually went back to the logistics company where we dropped the goods off in Portland and asked them if they could help us, and they sent us to the... Um, the shipper who received our goods and uh, let us know that they were in Miami but we would have to deal with the agent that booked our stuff um, for any further updates or information so when I went back to our agent they were very upset about that didn't understand how we got the information didn't understand why we had it and they didn't even though I believe that they had the information all along they just didn't want us to know where our stuff was Right. They, they didn't. They didn't care about where our stuff or our well-being. They only cared about how they looked. So, in order for us to get our stuff back from um, the shipping company, they wanted the agent to release it. That's the only way they would give it back to us. And the agent didn't want to release it because they were angry um, that we were able to show up in Miami and get our stuff back. I basically got into a shouting match on the phone with her in front of the shipping company. Well, you didn't shout at her. She was just shouting at you, right? Or yes. you were shouting back. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't it there. Did, I wish I could have heard devolved, it, though. It devolved into a shouting match. Although she was yelling at the at the shipper before that. Yeah, it was a pretty messy situation. Um, I think finally they realized that... And I, I refused to give us our stuff back. Yep. Like, we're not going to do Until they resolved that. their problem with their shipping company. Right. Even under threat of police. And their whole MO is quote you a very cheap price on the front end and then in order for you to get your goods back from them they're going to charge you exorbitant storage fees they're going to charge you customs fees they're going to charge you for whatever they can tack on at the end 
Um, they don't care what the outcome is for you at customs. They don't care how many thousands of dollars you have to pay customs. Um, they will do whatever is in their best interest and not the customer's best interest. So we felt like we had to keep that from happening. We're not going to be victimized by this company, basically. So that's why we're in Miami. Um, finally, I think they realized they were just digging their hole deeper and deeper. Um, they told us that we were going to have to pay some some extra fees for retrieving the items and extra fees for updating the shipping rates and cancellation fees. Uh, cancellation fees, kinds of garbage like that. But in the end, they ended up offering us a, a small, albeit very small, very small refund um, in it, in exchange for signing a slip of paper that said we would not um, dispute the transaction later to get our money back out of them, which we never had any intention of doing. They had a form for this already made up. So we signed it, and the next day James went and got our stuff from the shipper. So Fun it stuff. was a major hassle and uh, way more drama than it should have been, but in the end it was a favorable outcome. Now we'll just, um, I will stay in Florida with the kids, with our things. James will fly back to Grenada, sail the boat back here uh, with a, a very delivery experienced captain. delivery captain and who was also supposed to bring his brother, but we just found out two days ago that their mother is ill and that might not work out, but James's brother Tom is also going to come and, and, and crew on the boat to get it back here to Florida, which we're very appreciative of. So that's happening next week and the kids and I are just gonna hang out at the hotel um, line up some boat jobs that we want to get done really quick when the boat gets here to Florida so we're not stuck here for the rest of hurricane season we want to be here as, as little time as possible import the boat so it's officially a US imported vessel and then get to the Bahamas to enjoy some sailing before this the hurricane season where are we going for hurricane season? We, we don't know for sure yet. Um, it's a very good chance we might go back to Grenada. Um, there's also the ABC Islands that are considered safe during the hurricane season. That's uh, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao. And Curacao. So lots of options there. And that's where we're at. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying our channel, please hit that like button before you go and subscribe to our channel for updates on when new videos are coming out. <laughs>